In this video, I am going to find the integral of 5x square minus 1 divided by x cubed plus x with respect to x. Now, the easy way to do it is basically take the integrand and separate it into two different fractions or by using partial fractions. So, I'm going to do exactly that. 5x square minus 1 divided by x cubed plus x. If I factor out x, that's going to give me x square plus 1. Now, this could be simplified to this a over x plus bx plus c over x square plus 1. Now we need to go ahead and simplify it. To simplify this, I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by the denominator on the left, which is x times x square plus 1. By multiplying both sides by that, I get the following. Now I can go ahead and simplify it. These two and these two are going to cancel out. That's going to give me 5x square minus 1 is equal to x and x is going to cancel out. Then if I use distributive property, it's going to be ax square. a times x square is ax square plus a times 1 is a. And then this and this is going to cancel. Then if I multiply bx plus c by x, I get bx square plus cx. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine the like terms. So 5x square minus 1 is equal to a plus b times x squared. So I'm combining these two plus cx, which is this term, and plus the constant term a. Now, once again, we are dealing with an equality that involves, or equation that involves polynomials on both sides. So we can go ahead and compare the coefficient of the corresponding terms on both sides. So x squared has a coefficient of 5 on the left, on the right it's a plus b, so it must be the case a plus b is equal to 5. x on the right has a coefficient of c, but on the left there is no x, so which is equivalent to saying we have a 0 times x term, which is like 0, right? So it tells you that the coefficient of x is 0 on the left, that helps us conclude to the fact that c is equal to 0. And the constant term on the left is negative 1. And constant term on the right is a. So it must be the case that a is equal to negative 1. Now if a is negative 1, we can just plug in a here and find b, which is going to give me b is equal to 6. So I found my a, I found my b and I found my c. Now I can go ahead and plug it into the original partial fraction. So 5x square minus 1 divided by x times x square plus 1. That's supposed to be a over x, but a is negative 1, so it's going to be negative 1 over x plus bx. b is 6, so 6x bx plus c, right? So plus c, but c is 0, so I don't need to worry about it, divided by x square plus 1. Now this becomes very nice. I can integrate this, both sides with respect to x, which is the same as this, right? Then I can take this, integral of this, with respect to x. If I did that, I'm going to get negative integral of 1 over x dx, which is just ln of x, plus 6 times integral x over x square plus 1 dx. Now, the integral of this is pretty straightforward, just ln of x, but the integral of the second term needs a little bit of uh, work. So, let's go ahead and do a u substitution to find that integral. So, x over x square plus 1 dx. So I'm going to make the assumption that u is equal to x square plus 1. So du over dx is just 2, right? Derivative of x square with respect to x is 2 and derivative of 1 is 0. So that gives me du 
uh, is equal to 2 dx or dx is gonna be oh sorry 2x I made a mistake here so d over dx is 2x so it's gonna be 2x dx okay so let me just cross it out 2x dx okay and that gives me du over 2 is equal to x dx now if I do that substitution here I'm gonna get du over 2 over u right so that is gonna be one half du over u integral which is nothing but one half ln of absolute value of u that is the same as one half ln of absolute value of x squared plus one all right now let's go ahead and find the final integration so integral 5x squared minus 1 divided by x cubed plus x dx is going to be integral of this, which is negative ln of absolute value of x plus 6 times integral of this. But integral of that is 1 half ln of x squared plus 1. So 1 half times 6 is going to give you 3 ln of x square plus 1 plus some arbitrary constant c kind of i want to make a note here we necessarily don't need to put a, an absolute value on this because we are dealing with real functions at least in this class okay so uh, so we are dealing with real numbers so square of a real number is always non-negative that means zero or positive and we are adding one to it so it's always going to be positive so you do not necessarily have to put an absolute value sign here but it's okay to put that's fine so this is your final answer final integration of this this so that's gonna be your integral when evaluated i hope that this discussion was helpful thank you very much